When it comes to crime, the Koch administration appears to be winning that war. Two years ago, the city was beset with more than 100,000 robberies. This year, thanks in part to a crackdown on armed hold-up teams, robberies and crimes across the board were down somewhat. John Miller has details. On the subject of street crime, the mayor was armed with favorable statistics about 1983. As compared with 82, homicide was down almost 5%. Robbery was down 13%. Auto theft was down 15%. Across the board, a 10% reduction in serious felony crimes. Comparing New York City today with what it was uh, last year, crime is appreciably uh, down. But nevertheless, it uh, still exists and exists in a, a way that gets people uh, upset. One of the things that caused public outcry was the release of prisoners from the city's jail, stemming from a court order on overcrowding. I do believe there's something wrong uh, with uh, our standards uh, where the convenience as it relates uh, to uh, uh, people who are charged with uh, heavy crimes, because these people are not charged with light crimes, and the safety of the public are equated with the convenience uh, to the uh, prisoners uh, being uh, of uh, greater import to the court than the safety uh, of uh, the uh, public. And finally, we asked the mayor about a different type of crime, the threat of terrorism. The nature of the major act of terrorism, which took place uh, last uh, New Year's Eve, where uh, three police officers were maimed and blinded and severely uh, injured, uh, is such uh, that we're going to take special precautions, not only on New Year's Eve, but uh, every day. Naturally, the mayor was eager to emphasize the decreases in crime in areas such as homicide, larceny, auto theft. But there were areas where crime increased, notably rape, 6.7%, assault, 1.7%, and a 6.1% jump in a category called all other felonies. Still, in a decade where crime has steadily risen, a 10% cutback in total felonies for the police department and the mayor is considered pretty good marks. John Miller, Channel 5 News.